I want to build a compost pile there that will produce additional heat and they will eat a lot from the biota. This is almost like cooking. You're putting together different ingredients to get the perfect end result. Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. I am very excited. Today is the day when I want to build the big compost pile in my greenhouse that I will do as an experiment to see how much I can feed my chicken without grain. Hi chickens. How are you guys? Huh? So as you remember maybe, I have had these um, these gates in here and I'm gonna put another one there and then I'm gonna build a compost pile in the middle of this uh, of those things this is really luxury to have these for a compost pile but it's gonna be really nice to later just be able to uh, open it up when the chickens can stretch the stuff out. So we have deep bedding in here that's already composting because the chickens are adding the manure to it and aerating it. And this is about 30 to 40 centimeters deep here. But I want to build a compost pile there that will produce additional heat and the chickens will aerate it and they will hopefully um, be able to eat a lot from the biota. So here we have a pile of wood chips that we chipped a year and a half ago. There were lots of leaves in there and we're gonna definitely add a bunch of these wood chips to that compost pile. They produce a lot of heat and um, that's a good source of carbon right there. Here's some weeds that I pulled out of my back to Eden garden there are a couple more piles here and I think that I would just add those as well to the to the compost pile for greens and stuff hi piggies so we also want to also add some uh, mature compost to the pile so we're gonna take um, from here where um, we have a lot of fresh compost you guys can give me some of that stuff some old straw bales that have been laying here that will go into the compost pile as well um, this is some deep bedding here it's quite dark here so you can see well but this has started to compost a whole lot already um, from the deep bedding from the chickens and I'm gonna put a few shovels of this into the into the compost pile here we have a pile of cow manure uh, we, has, we used to have a different breed of cows that um, was in this stable during the, during the winter time. And this is a lot of manure that's left from them. So I'm going to take the tractor. The first in, couple inches here are frozen. It's going to thaw the next days. Uh, I hope I can get it with the tractor now and drive a few shovel loads of this on the compost pile as well. Can you see this down there by the forest? That's a big old bale of hay that I drove there um, when our cow was living in the forest to get her to come. I'm gonna take that and add it to the pile as well. Wow, this is a lot of old hay. Let's go and drive it to the greenhouse.
Hi, chickens. Think I'm gonna bother you now? Maybe I can move you, huh? Okay, so my son Henry is going to make sure that no chickens run out of the greenhouse right now. And I'm going to be carrying in some, some hay here. Yeah. We want this to be a compost, Henry. They're not supposed to sleep there. They can sleep up here still. We have to make this wet soon. What the wet? What? What the um This is a lot of hay. We'll need some good nitrogen here soon. I no This hay wasn't very good quality, it was bedding hay what I would call it. Very thick and harvested way too late, but it's perfect for this. This straw bell is solidly frozen. It's time for us to get a little manure and add some nitrogen to this compost pile. fresh compost here that we will add to to that pile can you help me okay, thank you Yeah, we're going to the chickens now. Now we're getting some halfly composted um, chick deep bedding from the chickens. There you can see how, how deep it is. For my hands. What? I got some dirt from my hands. You got some dirt from your hands? Yeah. Good job, you're almost done, Henry. You okay, Henry? Yeah. Is that, is that very heavy? A little heavy. Do you need some help? No thanks. Okay, so I just coming in here and want to dump the buckets on that pile and look at where the chickens are already. I can't tell you how excited I am about this project. Once this whole thing will start going, oh boy, am I excited. The chickens are naturally drawn to that. That's the thing. Today, in today's agriculture, nobody asks the animals anymore what they want and what they like. Now you're doing it by yourself, all by yourself, Henry. That's amazing. One of my passions is actually cooking. You might not think that, but I love cooking fancy meals and um, this is almost like cooking you're putting together um, different ingredients to get the perfect 
end result. So here we got the old water from the ducks from this morning. I'm just gonna take that and dump it on top of that pile because the compost pile needs to have enough water in it. Hey, Henry, you want to come with me? Come on. Okay. What are you doing, mister? There are lots of worms in this cow manure already that is mixed together with sawdust. So, uh, wood shavings. There are lots of bugs in here. Um, I think the chickens will have such a blast sticking through here. This stuff is full of worms, guys. So exciting. So what we are wanting to do now is we're going to water this, then I'm going to dump a bunch of wood chips on here. Good job. Think this is gonna be nice for the chickens? Yeah. Okay guys, now just for fun, let's leave the camera here for a while and yeah. see what chickens and how many are gonna end up on the pile and how fast. Okay, because we dumped a whole bunch on the ground there with worms in it, a lot of the chickens they um, are digging there now. But the Bress and the Sussex are always the ones that are on top here um, digging through this pile. Isn't that a pretty sight? Now right here, this might actually be a good place for my water. Put it above. Small amounts of water always drip on the compost pile, which is perfect. And the heat might actually keep it from freezing. Who knows? We'll see that. Okay guys, that's it for today. I didn't get to finish everything that I wanted to, but it's starting to pour outside. It's really cold and I have a big headache. I don't feel so well today. So I'm not gonna go and do any more of this today. But I'm really excited about this. This is gonna be really, really nice for the chickens. And I will keep you up to date um, on how this goes, when it will heat up, and how I will feed the chickens when we will open this and they can spread it out. I'm really ex excited. So stay tuned, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have a question or a suggestion. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.